Let's take a look at a few of the tools that we have now. We have an outlet tool. These are your emitters or your irrigation heads. We have a pipe tool, drip outlet tool. This is the actual drip tool with the emitters. Um, within the pipe tool, you will also have a drip line, but that is a non-emitter drip tube. Your valve tool, uh, setting in some valves, point of connection tool. We have a controller tool, component tool. We have a design zone tool, hydro zone tool, and a tag label tool. Now these can be pre-configured. So our outlet tool, we're going to come up here pretty standard, straightforward, but a few different pieces here. Our outlet, we can choose the type of outlet we want. And I have I-20 here. We're going to define this with rotors. So, uh, and I'm going to use a Hunter I-20, but I can use an Aerotrol, a Rainbird, or Toro. Uh, if I want to use sprays, I can do that. I can also set up various emitters based on brands. Uh, there's also this custom down here. This is great if you don't want to define a specific brand and you just want, here's your standard setup. Uh, that works great there. So let's go ahead. We'll select the I-20 and that is my default set. Now, my radius, I can define that as either a manual or I can define all of the radius points based on what that head allows. So I can go to 35 feet. Now to show you that this changes, which is really kind of nice, let's go to sprays, let's go to hunter, and let's go to an MP rotator. And they have some interesting pieces in an MP rotator if you're used to using that. And you can see I have a radius and I have manual arc, manual strips. And then I also have all the various strips and various ranges that come preset. So it's our radius is based on what head we're using. So, and you can also see our arcs. We can define those arcs based on what that nozzle range is, and it locks to that, which is fantastic. So let's go back. We're gonna go back to our Hunter I-20. Beyond that, we also have our preferences. A few things in preferences. We have some different modes. We have an overlap mode, fixed, best fit by distance, best fit by overlap, and by count. I'm gonna select best fit by overlap, for this demonstration and we'll get into that but it's going to select and create the best fit based on the overlap that I give and my overlap value is 100% in other words I'm going 35 foot radius and I'm going to go true head to head down below here we're going to show coverage you can deselect that I don't know why you would want to deselect it that is showing your radius mark of your head we can show 3D coverage. This gives an arc in 3D showing the trajectory of that uh, water path. We can show pressure and show flow. Now I'm gonna show pressure and flow. Graphically, I like to show all of my calculations throughout. You don't have to, but it's kind of nice to see that. We can also preset some of these as far as our pipe. For instance, we can show flow and flow direction and our nominal diameter. This is as it's calculating out the size of pipe, it's gonna show that. And we can set that all the way through. So for instance, I can set a one inch PGV and let's go ahead and show input flow. And let's go ahead and in our point of connection, let's show pressure and flow. I want you to see what we can calculate out and what we're showing here. 